This week, we're checking into the new Grand Destino Tower at Walt Disney World. And then we're stepping into the video game world of Halo, Outpost Discovery. Plus the latest theme park news and more coming at you from the attraction studio at Give Kids the World Village, right, right now. now. Welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Elisa. And I'm Quinn. So we got to see an awesome new teaser trailer for live action Mulan. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't have like the, the songs in it, but I'm glad that they're keeping them as um, like instrumentals. Like you yeah. can kind of hear in the trailer um, reflection yeah. a little bit, but... I think the trailer looked freaking amazing. No, yeah, she looks great. She looks like she's ready to kick some butt. Mm -hmm. And I am super excited to see that story come to life. I mean, just watching the, the cartoon, like you could, I, I always envision like, God, this would be such a cool movie to see live action. So I'm excited. Yeah, and uh, speaking of live action movies, I'm actually, well, by the time that you see this, our review will be posted on our website. Um, or my review of The Lion King, which uh, comes out in a week, mm -hmm. a week from today for you guys watching it on Thursday. Um, but I'm going to see it tonight, and I, you can see what I thought of it if you yeah. read my review. Yeah, another live action movie that I'm excited for. <laughs> I'm about it. Let's do it. All right, we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Staying at Walt Disney World Resort this summer, you can get up to 25% off rooms at select Disney Resort hotels with Mouse Fan Travel. To get a free quote with no obligation, head to mousefantravel.com. If you're heading to Universal Studios Hollywood to check out Jurassic World The Ride, head to Undercover Tourist and you could save up to $37 on park tickets. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Jurassic World The Ride has finally soft opened the guests at Universal Studios Hollywood, inviting fans to experience this reimagining of a classic attraction. Riders will float through Jurassic World and encounter many different dinos, including the Mosasaurus, Blue the Raptor, and the Indominus Rex. We don't yet know when the official opening will be, but you can check out the full ride on our YouTube channel. I did watch the video of mm -hmm. the ride through, and I think it looks really cool. I think it's really interesting that they turned, like, uh, the, the lift tail, the, you know, when you're going up top there, um, it used to be like a, like a power plant sort of area, and now it's like you're going into T-Rex Kingdom. Right. So it's like a big forest up yeah. there. That's yeah. really interesting. It looks so freaking cool. And when you're going in and it looks like, the, you know, it, it's all around you and like it starts breaking through the glass. And there's more animatronics up there now. Yeah, some like, new we animatronics. Love, we love animatronics. <laughs> we do. It's not just screens. There are new beautiful animatronics. Um, I really, really love the ride and I want to get over to California so I can ride it. Yeah, I do want to go over and ride it myself as well. Yeah. Now, for a limited time this summer, Mickey Mouse and all his best pals are joining the Disneyland Band for special performances of Mickey and Friends' Bandtastic Cavalcade at Disneyland Park. This procession will feature many favorite Disney characters and will take place twice daily along the parade route. The Cavalcade will also feature colorfully decorated Main Street USA vehicles, as well as show-stop moments where guests can clap and dance along with their favorite characters. It sounds pretty much like um, what we have with the Move It, Shake It, or yeah. whatever. What's it called now? Dance It, Play mouse, It. Mouse Cadance It, yeah. It's, it's Mouse Cadance It. For the, <laughs> All of those the things. Yeah. It sounds cute. It's adorable. We love Mickey and his pals. So I'm glad. Not? I'm glad that it's the the Disneyland band though, mm -hmm. as opposed to like recorded music. Because instead yeah. of dancing to Taylor Swift, it feels better that they're dancing to <laughs> live band. Yeah, a little more classic. Yeah. Got that. I mean, nothing against there. Taylor Swift or no. any other pop music, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds adorable. <laughs> we have an unexpected opening to close out the queue this week. The NBA store at the NBA Experience has opened up its doors to basketball fans and guests alike at Disney Springs. The new store features NBA memorabilia from every team, shoes, athletic gear, and of course, basketballs. The store also has its own customization station with options for both D-Tech accessories and items like water bottles and magnets. The NBA Experience will open at Disney Springs' newest interactive attraction on August 12th. They and had I'm me at water bottles and magnets. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm still kidding. mad at killed Disney Quest. So. Oh, I know. I love Disney Quest so much. But for those NBA basketball fans, 
Sports ball. Sports things. I guess we're not the biggest proponents <laughs> yeah. of that. But if you are, cool. It looks like it was. it's going to be cool. You can just shoot those balls into the hoops and... That's what uh, happens, yes. Dri <laughs> dribble, I think. Um, but yeah, so the store is there. Like we said, we should be having the actual attraction opening up in about a month from now. So yeah, go out and check it out for yourself. See if you like it. Head to a galaxy far, far away with our commemorative summer 2019 issue of Attractions Magazine. It's finally open. We take a look inside Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and show you all around this immersive new land. Talk to a few of the Disney cast members and Imagineers behind the creation and even look at the Star Wars land that never was. Plus the latest news, rumors, and more packed into every issue. Get your copy and subscribe today at AttractionsMagazine.com in print or digital in our app on Nook and Kindle. Walt Disney World's newest hotel edition, Grand Destino Tower, is now open and ready to welcome guests on their next Disney vacation. The tower offers sweeping, high-in-the-sky views of the resort, delicious Spanish-inspired food and atmosphere, and our publisher, Matt, got to see it all firsthand. Check it out! We're here at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort to check out the new Grand Destino Tower. It's not just more hotel rooms, there's also a restaurant on top of the resort. There's even a new restaurant out on the lake. Let's go tour it. Well, it's a reimagining of the entire resort itself. It's not just about the tower. So, you know, we look to celebrate the cultures of, of Spain, Mexico, and the American Southwest, which was part of the original, the original story itself. Um, you know, the, the music, the, the colors, the, the food, um, the architecture, you know, that you find here. Uh, we wanted to really celebrate that. But more importantly, because of the size of this resort uh, landscape and the building's relationship to that was really important to us, as it is with, with Spanish and Mexican towns and villages. So, okay. you know, we have a, a lake in the middle of our resort here, Lago Dorado, Lake of Gold which provides an open space, but it also provides that visual connectivity between all the different neighborhoods. Water's found here in abundance, not only with the lake, but with smaller scale fountains. And then, oddly enough, there's a original springs here on site that we've actually captivated and, and put a uh, temple over the top of that Mayan ruin, which allows the spring to come up and then trickle down on the steps, and it allows our guests to really understand the importance and the respect that that they gave their, the landscape and their culture. And as you came in to the building, you probably saw the ribbons on the wall. Yeah. And those are the, that is our, our kind of modern interpretation of that waterfall coming down the building and extending into okay. the, the patterning on the floor, this ribbon pattern that you see that goes all the way out to the lake. Okay. So it's that way to connect back to the lake and then connect to the water fountain element in the front. So the rooms uh, for a moderate level hotel, as we have on property, uh, interior loaded corridors, which we've never done before, and the rooms are, are bigger than what we would normally have on a moderate. Um, we've done a lot of things with the rooms to make them feel larger. Um, we've gotten rid of the ceiling fans. A lot of the lighting is indirect, so there's no sconces on the walls. Uh, in place of, of, of framed art that really gets outdated over time, we've developed an entire wall as a graphics wall, and you'll see that in the rooms. It's a sepia tone that's not unlike what you see here, inspired by some of the patterns you find in, in Spain. Um, lessons learned from Cruise Line, we've raised the beds. You know, no boxes anymore, so you can put your luggage, and the, meet, nice. and the minute that you come in the room, it makes the room feel bigger, because you can actually see under it. There's no ceiling fan, and there's no lights hanging around. So. Uh, there's a lot of improvements in the room to make it feel even bigger than it really is. And, and then we've incorporated the tile in the, in the bathrooms as well, which is quite beautiful. This is the new interactive TV they have here at the Grand Destino. And uh, you can watch TV on it. You can do Disney on demand with a lot of different choices of movies. You can check your um, Disney photos from your vacation. And you can also connect a device so if you want to watch netflix you just stream it from your phone or tablet to this device and then you also can of course look up parks information as well the grand destino is named after the destino animated short that walt disney and salvador dolly worked on which was made years later but if you look at this lamp in the room you can see the girl from the animated short and if you haven't seen the short it plays in the lobby if you're looking for hidden Mickeys in your room, be sure to look at this door. You might just spot one. And there's another hidden Mickey here in the room. Do you see it? 
All right, here's how these elevators work. You don't just push up or down. You push what floor you want to go to here in the hallway. So we want to go to the lobby, actually lower lobby. And I'll tell you elevator B. So you look up here and there's B. So you just wait here and when it opens, it'll take you right to the floor you need to go to. Okay, there's a really cool hidden Mickey here in the Barcelona lounge. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see. It's like it's the top part of Mickey's head. So I'll try to draw it here. So here's his head. There's one of his ears. And then the other ear is over here. All right, I'm up on the 16th floor now at the Toledo restaurant. As you can see behind me, it is beautiful up here. I think this is going to be a very popular restaurant. And the view outside is even more spectacular because you can see all around Disney World. Right across from the Toledo restaurant is the Dahlia Lounge with equally impressive views where you can just relax, have a drink, and even check out some photos of Salvador Dali with Walt Disney. All right, we're up on the 16th floor at the Dahlia Lounge out on the balcony, and it's an amazing view up here. You can see Expedition Everest right here. If I swing around this way, see more of the amazing view. I think that is, yeah, right there is the Tower of Terror. Over here is Galaxy's Edge. You swing around, you can see the Swan and Dolphin here and uh, um, Epcot right over here. Destino is now open. I recommend you come take a look around, even if you're staying here or not. Two, one. MEI and Mouse Fan Travel is your expert source for no-fee travel planning. Visit mei-travel.com for a no-obligation quote today. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit undercover tours today. Fans of the Halo video game franchise can step into the world they love with Halo Outpost Discovery, a traveling attraction featuring experiences inspired by the game. Their first stop was in Orlando, and our guest reporter Austin, who is a huge Halo fan, was there to show you around. Over to you, Austin. Hey guys, I'm Austin. I will be your guest host this week. We are at Halo Outpost Discovery here in Orlando at the Convention Center and uh, I am very excited. I am a huge Halo fan, so uh, let's check this out. Spartan and it is amazing. 
here we got the go-to weapon for every Spartan, the standard assault rifle and magnum. We are getting ready to play Halo Reach on the PC for the first time, something that has only been an Xbox experience. Can you give us a quick breakdown of what the ring experience is? Yeah, so the ring experience is a uh, flyover of a Halo ring world uh, where we're taking visitors of Outpost Discovery um, to uh, the chance to visit another world, uh, Halo, uh, and see different environments, see uh, different characters that they may have never seen before, and experience it all in a dome format. So it's a really unique attraction here at Outpost Discovery. We have uh, several rooms where you're getting a little bit of an exhibit experience, and then you, the final experience is a giant dome theater. To start thinking about Halo as an expanded universe, that there's a lot of room to grow the storyline and the possibilities of what Halo can be to different generations of people. It's not just about the game, it's really about the culture and the fan base, and about all the different aspects of what the story has brought to this kind of genre. In my mind, Halo is like the Star Wars of video games. We started in the year 2000. Our first project was renovating Spaceship Earth, which is the giant Epcot ball, as for those of you that don't already know. Um, but we've been doing attractions and theme parks really since our inception. Um, so most recently, we worked on IMG Worlds of Adventure, which is Marvel and Cartoon Network uh, theme park in Dubai. We did the Hunger Games land in uh, Motion Gate, Dubai. Um, and we've been doing a lot of work with National Geographic. We opened up National Geographic Encounter in Times Square uh, a couple years ago. And then we just did Atlantis, uh, the new Atlantis Resort and Water Park in Sanya, China. So we've been working a lot in the attractions industry. We love Attractions Magazine and uh, we're just happy to be here. Wow, yeah, you are very busy. Yes. That's amazing. It's a lot of 
I wasn't. I didn't realize all those things. Yeah, that's really cool. Well, you know, Halo happens to be one of you know, at least in our company, one of our fan favorites, and a lot of people really love the lore. We're really into this project, so we were happy to be a participant, and hopefully, we can continue to be um, adding value to Outpost Discovery in years to come. This is literally us trying to stage all that action very early on. I think our animator took about two weeks to put the whole ring experience together in 3D animatic. And then we take that and we bring it into previous. So this is kind of our actual stage that we're going to go with more close to the actual camera that we're going to use. And some of the environments starting to come together. You can still see here that it's kind of a fast draft for us. So the idea behind this is we're trying to iterate very fast. All these assets are still getting built and detailed. So we're constantly building on this until we get to the final version here, which is what's in the rain experience now. Combat training, we're on blue team, let's do this. <laughs> That's our look at the Halo Outpost Discovery here in Orlando. There will be five locations. The next location will be in Philadelphia. For more information, visit HaloOutpostDiscovery.com. Have you downloaded our free Attractions Magazine app? It features news articles, as well as every issue of our magazine, available right in the app. Plus, catch up on all episodes of the show, and even view all of our online videos in one place. Download the app for free in the App Store today. This week's birthday shoutouts go out to Jeremy Durham, Corinne Anderson, Maddie Roth, John Goltz, Genevieve Bernard, and I want to wish a happy fifth birthday to Spencer Lee, our junior reporter. Wow, she's already five? I know. That's crazy. <laughs> happy birthday, everyone. Our commemorative Star Wars Galaxy's Edge issue is available now. Inside, you'll find stories, photos, interviews, and more about all things Batuu and Black Spire Outpost that you can't get anywhere else. Pick up your copy today at attractionsmagazine.com slash store. Mm -hmm. Now we want to thank MEI, Mouse Fan, and Universal Fan Travel, our preferred travel agent. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. And thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Give Kids the World Village is a non-profit resort that provides week-long, cost-free vacations to children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. To learn more about how to get involved, visit gktw.org. All right, so we got some upcoming segments, some fun ways keep cool, have fun with Banks and Neve at Planet Obstacle, and Orlando Water Sports Complex. Have you ever been there? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Yeah. I, I know that I've been somewhere, I don't remember the name of it, but they, mm -hmm. they had the, you know, the when they strapped like the hoses on your feet and you're like up above, like a jetpack almost, oh, yeah. like above the water. That's awesome. Yeah, I've, I've been somewhere, I, it might be the same place. Yeah, I drive by it every day, Pat, on 528. I'm like, hey, that place looks awesome, but I have never been there. So, you should go. Yeah, w one day, maybe I'll just like, <laughs> <laughs> off, gotta get, can't go to work, gotta go here instead. <laughs> but <laughs> some super fun things coming up. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun.